one meandering abroad in the Lincolnshire meadows day day and day a month perhaps, lying at night lonely, the early September evening administering a mystery, the moon executing its wavering sleight of hand, I sense the advent of the extraordinary event, the calamitera, turn and encounter the mountain descending upon me the moment of terror flashes like dead powder revealing the features of the mass as mine dot two time like a mountain made of my own shadow collapsing on me buries me in my life it is the future, undermined by present, failing appallingly backward I bring the cracked escarpments hurling down, I catch the agonized glint of years in a fall of rubble, the time clatters down with branches you hear the broken life, scream and sob like me. Three meandering abroad in the Lincolnshire meadows throw up no mountain featured with self's face idling like Hylas beside the Babylonian stream admire the harp on the willow not the bright mask suspended through the depths or down internally and eternally drowned Dugo. I know I wandered at night admiring the moonlight mountain the moon had made the monster of my own dot for I see the elements of my growth were drawn not from the objects that encourage growth, the mountain ornamented with morning tears, the musical tree, the hesitating river, but the distorted mountain of the bells, the hysterical tree that branches to the arms, the lunar river from the sexual fountain feeding on self. The internal cannibal stands like a gap over its swallowed self. Five about the adult, like the solar system, objects revolve, holding the man in place. The abdomen of youth is the balloon world twisted to fit between the ribs. The Spartan boy had his own fox globe hidden at his belly. The youth of sorrow mourns this indigestion, the world swelling in his guts. I vomit this is the act that one now execute. Six why walk at night admiring the moonlight mountain? it is to find and feel the real and fine more may the glittering angle indicate the physiognomy of the divine than thine who is the parent of the innumerable plant, it is not the sweet onion hanging at my loin the green tree springing in the rear of space follows the Greek sun and not my face. 71 recall how the rose tree sprang out of my breast I recall the myriads of birds in the cage of my head, I recall my third finger the branch of myrtle, I recall the imprisoned women wailing in my bowels I was the figure of the surrealist exhibition with a mass of roses face I hung like hawk hungry over the running world, I hung like sun that pulls the bright boys, like the spider.81 saw the moon nightly performing a circle about the pivotal point of my eye. The bird flew either towards or from me, sang to me or was silent. I sensed the violent spinning of things, I was their axle like the polar tree the key of kings had fallen from the blue into my keyhole I, I knew I knew I felt the crush of hell in my left side. Nine. it was on Sunday the 12th April I saw the figure of William Blake bright and huge hung over the Thames at Sonning, I had not had this familiar with the spatial mathematic, acknowledging the element of matter, I was acquainted with the make of things, but not this. I had not acknowledged this, I had not encountered prototype.10 I saw William Blake large and bright like ambition, absolute, glittering, actual and gold. I saw he had worlds and worlds in his abdomen, and his bosom innumerably enpeopled with all birds I saw his soul like a cinema in each of his eyes, and Swedenborg laboring like a dream in his stomach I remember the myrtle sprouting from his hand and saw myself the minor bird on the bow.111 recognized the cosmology of the objects, the contributing and constituting things, which contemplated too close make a chaos, the glorious plethora, the paradise mass, the chaos of glory, in which the idiot wanders collecting. I recognized the cosmology of chaos, observing that the condition rendering chaos cosmos is the external fact. 12 William Blake was larger than my Lincolnshire mountain when like my mountain fell. I heard the catastrophic fragments of his torso breaking past me. It was the object of the physical world breaking on me like Krakatoa like Krakatoa like the fist shooting out of the box like the gradual appearance of morning at morning like toot and Carmen carefully divesting itself in public places. 131 achieved apocalypse, hearing slowly the sounds against which my ears had made their own music. I heard first the ron the choral echo up the valley trying to find God's ear, I heard the presage ironically rumbling along the channel, war the ancestral voice the ancestral voice and one saw in a fog of gas Mr. Baldwin orating we must repair the deficiencies of our forces I heard three women weeping in Lruns ruins. Fourteen, nothing one could not hear, Berliner Tageblatt, Daily Telegraph, Lumanite, Isvestia, the air like newsboys shrieking, recounting instances of hate, of insult, aggravation, and the Ron the Choral, the Durham hymn, 
Overall, I met seven saints in Salisbury with cotton wool in their ears. I remembered with shame my own music the splitting of the central pillar like oral lightning. I felt it crack my abdomen, the world.